going on everyone? Let's get to my workout of the day. This is going to be a really quick four minute ab workout that we're going to do. We're not going to be doing any sit-ups because we already discussed how sit-ups are bad for you. So we're going to be doing mostly uh, anti-flexion, isometric holds. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we're going to be doing is what we call a high plank walkout. So we're going to get into a push-up position. All right. From here, all we're going to do is get into our push-up position, engaging our core, making sure our scapula is retracted back. All right, and what I want you to do is take little steps out to a point where you can't hold it up anymore and you're gonna walk back in. When you're doing this, I want you to really focus on making sure that your glutes are fired so this is stabilizing your hips. I don't want you to wobble like this, all right? I want you to make sure you're nice and stable. Okay? We're gonna do that for one minute, all right? Then what we're gonna do is flip it over and now we're gonna get into what we call dead bugs. So we're gonna get onto our back, making sure our back is neutral. What we're gonna do is extend one leg with the opposite hand. So if I extend my left leg, you're gonna extend your left right arm. So you're gonna come back and up and back and up, all right? We're gonna do this for another minute before we move on to the next exercise. The next exercise, we're gonna get onto our feet. And all we're going to be doing is a simple one, two, reset with another elbow, all right? So when you throw the strikes, you're going to make sure you're turning your body all the way, activating your whole abdominal area. So when you throw the one, two, you're going to go one, two, right? Turning your body as hard as you can, make sure you're pivoting, engaging your core, and you're going to reset and then throw the elbow again. When you throw the elbow, it's a similar mechanism as a cross. The only difference is you're hitting with the pointy part of your elbow. So once again, you're going to come from here, you're going to go one, two, reset, then elbow. All right? We're going to repeat that for one minute before we move on to the next exercise. The next exercise that we're going to be doing is just a simple plank, but what we're going to do is add a variation by lifting one arm, the other arm, uh, one foot, the other foot. So we can actually call it a plank around the world. All right? So let's get into our plank position which means we're gonna get onto our hands and elbows. And when you're in this position, I really want you to focus on making sure your back is completely neutral. This means rolling your scapula back, depressing it down, right? This means you're gonna to try to imagine your scapula as being turned like this, right? Like this, and you're gonna press your scapula down. This is gonna automatically push out your chest. This, then when you fire your glutes and engage your core, what's happening is your back is like a suspension bridge, right? So your core, your glutes, and your back is kind of the, the, the bracing of your bridge, of the, of the, the deck of the bridge, right? Um, which is your spine, your vertebrae. And you want to engage everything so it's very, very uh, activated to stabilize your vertebrae. So this is what we're doing right now. So you want to activate on both sides of your vertebrae to make sure that it's secure in place. So you're going to come here, retract down, then engage your glutes, engage your core. Then what you're gonna do from here is just lift up one arm, one, two, three, down, then one, two, three, down, the one foot, one, two, three, down, another foot, one, two, three, down, good. You're gonna do that for one minute after those other three exercises. And that's gonna be your four minute ab workout. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, what you can actually do is group um, four of these, these four exercises into um, three four minute sets. So you can take like a minute break in between. So the whole workout is gonna take you uh, 15 minutes to do, right? Four, four, 12, no, four, uh, 14 minutes to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great workout today. And if you have any questions, remember you can always send me an email. Just respond to the email that I'm about to send out, and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye.